if you want a Wi-Fi 7 router with good performance but on a budget then I got you covered with this BE5100 router that is also called the RE6L Pro router. So how could Tenda offer a Wi-Fi 7 router at this attractive price? It is by making it a dual band router instead of making it a tri-band router. But Tenda is not the only router manufacturer that is doing this. Other also well-known router manufacturers are doing this like TP-Link to give you an example. So the band that they dropped is the 6 GHz band. But this is not a big deal because the 6 GHz band is not widely used and it has some limitations. So even without the 6 GHz band, you will still benefit from the Wi-Fi 7 technology to have a faster connection. So for instance, the Wi-Fi 7 router has a 4K QAM instead of the 1K QAM that the Wi-Fi 6 and 6E have. But this is in theory. So I will be putting this Wi-Fi 7 router to the test against a router that is similar in speed from Tenda. So this is the AXE5700 router that is a Wi-Fi 6E router. So I'll be testing the speed of copying a file on my network with the Wi-Fi 7 at the 5 GHz band and with Wi-Fi 6 at the 5 GHz band and also with Wi-Fi 6E on the 6 GHz band. And we're gonna see which band is faster than the other. Just before starting the test, let me show you the ports and the controls of this router. So it is really a very simple router. You have here the button for the reset and for the mesh. And this first Ethernet port has a speed of up to 2.5 gigabits per second. And all the Ethernet ports work as WAN or LAN. And the three other Ethernet ports have a maximum speed of 1 gigabits per second. And this is the DC input port. Now the specifications of this router, so it has two bands, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. The 2.4 band maximum speed is 688 megabits per second. And the 5 gigahertz band maximum speed is 4,323 megabits per second. And it has the latest technologies like OFDMA, MiuMimo, 4K QAM, NFC, and so on. I wanted to show you what is the Wi-Fi 7 card I'm using on my Windows 11 24H2 PC. So it is the MediaTek Wi-Fi 7 MT7925 wireless card. So now let's start the test. The test I'll be doing is dropping a 6.24 gigabytes file from my PC that is now connected with Wi-Fi 7 to my Wi-Fi 7 router to my NAS. And we will time the time it takes for this file to finish uploading to the NAS. And by the way, while the file is uploading, I wanted to let you know that no one is using the network while I am doing this test. And on Wi-Fi 7, it took the file 1 minute and 26 seconds to upload to my NAS server. Now I'll swap the router and perform this test on Wi-Fi 6 and on Wi-Fi 6E. So now I'm connected with Wi-Fi 6E and also the NAS server is on the Wi-Fi 6E router. So let's perform the same test. And here's the test finished. So now I connected my PC to the Wi-Fi 6 network and also I connected my NAS to the same network. So let's try now the same thing. So now the upload finished. As you saw and oddly enough, the Wi-Fi 6 network was the fastest in this test. So it was faster than the Wi-Fi 6E by 3 megabytes per second only, but it was faster than the Wi-Fi 7 by 13 megabytes per second and this is not negligible. But does this mean that a Wi-Fi 7 router will not give you advantages? On the contrary, a Wi-Fi 7 network has many more advantages. So for instance, the 4K QAM will let many clients communicate with the Wi-Fi network better and faster than a Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 6E router that has only 1K QAM capability. So you're gonna get the benefit of a Wi-Fi 7 router if you have many clients communicating at the same time with your Wi-Fi router. But that being said also, now there are like rare clients that have Wi-Fi 7 and even rarer clients that have Wi-Fi 6E. So for now, if you don't have plans to upgrade your Wi-Fi router, a Wi-Fi 6 router or Wi-Fi 6E router is very good. But if you have like a Wi-Fi 5 router and you wanna upgrade, it's better to go with a Wi-Fi 7 router so for your network to be future-proof. So this Wi-Fi 7 router from Tenda is a good choice, but it has also some drawbacks. What is good about it is that it is affordable and also it offers all the latest Wi-Fi 7 technologies. It has a 2.5 gigabits per second one LAN port 
and also it has NFC. Now, what's not good about it is that it doesn't have a USB port. Also, for the VPN client, it doesn't have an open VPN client nor a WireGuard client. And also, it has only one LED light on the front here, which makes it hard to troubleshoot in case of a problem. If you want to check out the Standard BE 5100 router, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description. If you make a purchase using my link, I'll gain a small percentage, but this is at no cost to you and this will support my channel. If you liked my video, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Shining Tech. See you on the next video.